I know. And I mean, I know. It's, oh. That's going to happen. Fuck. I'll see. Oh, it's so cool. So you won't overpay. Call Dr. Fulgens to buy gold safely and easily by dialing pound 250 on your mobile phone and saying gold expert. That's pound 250 and say gold expert. Think identity theft won't happen to you? Think again. There's a new victim every three seconds in the U.S., over 15 million this year alone, and many don't even know they're victims. LifeLock alerts you to identity threats you could miss even when you monitor your credit. If your identity is stolen, a dedicated U.S.-based restoration specialist will work to fix it. No one can prevent all identity theft, but everyone can save up to 25% their first year with my name, Clay, as the promo code at LifeLock.com. Is your roof ready for El Nino? Season after season of blistering summer heat, blasting fall winds, and countless brutal winters. El Nino came through. That year and the year before destroyed my roof. I had shingles flying in the yard, leaks I had never seen before. Semper Solaris is a national award-winning Owens Corning Platinum Preferred Contractor. Your roof will be backed by an industry-leading 50-year warranty. It's a 50-year labor and material non-parade warranty. If there's ever a problem, it's going to get fixed for free through the entire 50 years. Semper Solaris, your yeah, local and veteran-owned solar battery oh, storage, awesome. roofing, and heating and air contractor, solar. gets the job done with esprit de corps and honor. <laughs> Work hard and keep your word. That's what we do every single day. Plus zero down, zero percent interest, and zero payments for 18 months. El Nino is coming. Call Semper Solaris and get your roof inspected today. Visit SemperSolaris.com or call 415 354 2969. Auto approved credit for supply. See website for details. Expires 531 24. CSLB The world of Bay Area real estate can be challenging. Buying, selling, renting, loan rates, and more. To help sort all that out, listen to Michael Hatfield hosts real estate. State and more Saturday afternoons at five, right here on 560 KSFO. Wish your wife came with a warning app. That dog does not want to be petted. <laughs> well, life doesn't always give you time to change the outcome, but pre-diabetes does. Take the one-minute test today at doihaveprediabetes.org. Brought to you by the Ad Council and its free diabetes awareness partners. dot com slash Levin, carshow dot com slash L E V I N, and save twenty percent today. Be quiet now so he can educate you. Whether you like it or not, Mark Levin is on the radio. I have to hear 100,000 people, according to the town and the number of reports, and it looked like 100,000 people. If you looked at the, looked at it live or the video since, it's just enormous. Enormous. And we just have a couple of clips that it's worth listening to because you won't hear it at the, uh, you know, the Democrat Party media platforms. Cut 11, go. Joe yeah. surrendered to the terrorists just like he surrendered to the Taliban, and now he's surrendering our college campuses to anarchists, jihadists, freaks, and anti-American extremists who are trying to tear down our American flag. They want to tear it down. Every single place they go, they want to rip down our flag. Why, Richard, the chaos damn. and violence happening on our college answer. campuses so right now stuff. is all because crooked Joe Biden doesn't know what the hell he's doing. The very same people who are funding the violent campus uprisings are also funding Joe Biden's campaign. Do you believe this? Tonight I'm officially calling on Joe Biden and the Democrat National Committee to return the donations of all anti-Semites, American haters, and financiers of chaos who have funded the chaos on our campuses. Return the money, Joe. What a fantastic leader. What a fantastic voice. Seriously. This is why MSNBC, CNN, and the rest, that's why they won't, they won't run these, these events live. They don't want people to hear what he has to say. You this is why these judges put bag orders. He's not answering. Uh, my boss is The American people are really yearning for a leader like this. But... They're yearning for Donald Trump. Okay. 
Look how they've totally turned the script here. Like we're yearning Joe Biden, Mr. Shuffle, Mr. Mumble, okay. Mr. Hamas. Trump has clarity, he's Is smart, he researches, he uh. reads, despite the best efforts of this media to destroy him the way they try to destroy him. Goldwater, and uh, Nixon, nah, and Reagan, choice. and the Bushes. It's a funny That's thing. Okay, Trump has accomplished more than all his critics put together. Well, at least I'm not working in the actual his moral houses. His moral it's way better than anything. So I can't stand working the in the houses. If you do this, if you do that, I would just drive around. I would just pay for driving, so it's <laughs> way better than do that. Protecting from illegal aliens. Protecting the taxpayers from That's government. Protecting true. the average citizen from crime. This is important. This is stuff. This is real stuff. Cut 12, go. He has truly set the world on fire. If you want to know how a weak and pathetic president really is, I mean, the things they do, just think about this. This week he announced that he will withhold shipping weapons to Israel as they fight to eradicate Hamas terrorists in Gaza. <laughs> never happened. You know, they say that. And Biden has fallen for it. Cookie Joe's action is one of the worst betrayals of an American in the history of our country. Now, of course, they run the red light. Right and the see him not long for us, Is that okay? I don't know. I don't know if that's good or bad politically. I don't care. You gotta do what's right. Yes, see him not long for us. That's uh, what they do. Just run the light. He's a historic figure. You gotta put aside all the static you're hearing from the Democrat media, from the never Trumpers, from the Washington establishment. You gotta win, and most of you have to put it aside. This is a historic figure who has the potential of putting the brakes on what's happening to our country. I can't think of another Republican at the national level who's capable of this. There are great Republicans. There's great concerns. This is his time. This is his time. Historians will look back. People will look back on this. If he is defeated for Joe Biden. And they will say and they will write that was the turning point. That the Stalinist tactics worked. That the Constitution is forever eviscerated. That the Republican Party will never be a significant major party challenging what will become the monopoly Democrat Party. It'll get worse and worse. The police state in this country. The economic system will be altered. The brainwashing of our children and our college students, that'll keep changing. Redistribution of wealth, massively increasing spending and taxes. In the future, Jew-hating uh, uh, Hamas support. No, oh, I don't care what people say. That's what he is. Yeah. If you can't support Israel defending itself at a time like this, then you are what you are. And he is what he is. I don't know who this Margaret Brennan is, but I watched our friend Tom Cotton on that program. He was sandwiched between Blinken and Van Hollen. She was a disgusting disgrace. Should have just resign and join the Biden campaign, or better yet, become an official spokesman for Hamas. Although I don't think she'd survive long in Gaza. Do you, Mr. Producer? No, I don't think so. But spewing blood libels left and right on these Sunday shows against Israel. And they keep bringing our our homegrown Stalinists. 
shows. But I think one of the great piece. Oh, I looked here about eight years ago about Bernie Sanders by Paul Sperry. He's such a great reporter. In the New York Post. Don't be fooled by Bernie Sanders. He's a diehard communist. This is 2016. As Paul's Titan, self-described socialist, Bernie Sanders looks more like a serious contender than a novelty candidate. The liberal media leader suddenly stopped calling him socialist. He's now cleaned up as a progressive and a pragmatic, a pragmatist. It's not even a socialist, he's a communist. Mainstreaming Sanders requires whitewashing his radical pro-communist past. It won't be easy to do. If Sanders were buying for a cabinet post, he'd pass an FBI background check. There'd be too many subversive red flags popping up in his life. It was a communist collaborator during the height of the Cold War. Rewind in 1964. While attending the University of Chicago, Sanders joined the Young People's Socialist League, the youth wing of the Socialist Party USA. He also organized for a communist front, the United Packing House Workers Union, which at the time was under investigation by the House Committee on Un-American Activities. After graduating with a political science degree, Sanders moved to Vermont, where he headed the American People's History Society, an organ of Marxist propaganda. There he produced a glowing documentary on the life of socialist evolutionary revolutionary Eugene Debs was jailed for espionage during the Red Scare it's and held by the Bolsheviks as America's Stupid. greatest Marxist. He was a Marxist. You no, know, see, I'm not law enforcement. You know, no one cares here. The subversive hero of Sanders denounced even by liberal Democrats as a traitor. So why are my dad and Jack on? We thought you were in video recording. The Russian comrades of ours, he said, have made greater sacrifices. They have suffered more and have shed more heroic blood than any like number of men and women anywhere on earth that's proclaimed. They have laid the foundation of the first real democracy that ever drew the breath of life in this world. This is a hero of Bernie Sanders. In a 1918 speech in Canton, Ohio, Debs reaffirmed his solidarity with Lenin and Trotsky, despite clear evidence of their violent plunder and treachery. Sanders still hangs a portrait of Debs on the wall of his center office. At least he did. In the early 70s, Sanders helped found the Liberty Union Party, which called for the nationalization of all U.S. banks and the public takeover of all private utility companies. After failed runs for Congress, Sanders in 1981 managed to get elected mayor of Burlington, Vermont, where he restricted property rights for landlords, set price controls, and raised property taxes to pay for communal land trusts. Local small businesses distributed flyers complaining their new mayor, quote, does not believe in free enterprise. That's the least of it. His radical activities didn't stop at the water's edge. Sanders took several goodwill trips, not only to the USSR, but to Cuba and Nicaragua, where the Soviets were trying to expand their influence in our hemisphere. 1985, he traveled to Managua, Nicaragua, to celebrate the rise of a Marxist-Leninist Sandinista government. He called it a heroic revolution. Undermining anti-communist U.S. policy, Sanders denounced the Reagan administration backing of the Contra rebels in a letter to the Sandinistas. His betrayal did not end there. Sanders lobbied the White House to stop the proxy war and even tried to broker a peace deal. He adopted Managua as a sister city and invited the, the uh, communist murderer, Sandinista leader Daniel Ortega, who's back in power, to visit the U.S. He exalted Ortega as an impressive guy while attacking President Reagan. Sanders told Vermont Government Access TV in 1985, the Sandinista government has more support among the Nicaraguan people, substantially more support than Ronald Reagan has among the American people. Reagan, the most popular president in modern history, of course. Sanders also adopted a Soviet sister city outside Moscow and honeymooned with his second wife in the USSR. He put up a Soviet flag in his office, shocking even the Birkenstock-wearing local liberals. At the time, the evil empire was on the march around the world, threatening the U.S. with nuclear annihilation. And in 1989, as the West was on the verge of winning the Cold War, Sanders addressed the National Conference of the U.S. Peace Council a no front for the Communist Party USA, whose members swore an oath not only to the Soviet Union, but close to the triumph of Soviet power in the United States. Today, in 2016, Sanders wants to bring what he admired in the USSR, Cuba, Nicaragua, and other communist states to America. 
Soros is completely nationalizing our health care system and putting private health insurance and drug companies out of business. He also wants to break up so-called big banks that control the energy industry. While providing free college tuition, a living wage, guaranteed home ownership, and jobs through massive public works projects. Trillions of dollars. You know where he gets all that from? The 1936 Stalin Soviet Constitution. Stole it right out of there. Who will pay for it all? You will. Sanders plans not only soak the rich with a 90% plus tax rate while charging Wall Street a speculation tax, but hit every American with a global warming tax when it goes on. And I've got more on this bastard. So the question is, why do they keep putting him on the Sunday show? We're going to get into this in some detail in this hour and part of next hour. We'll be right back. Mark Lovin. opportunity to learn all about CLR. Hey, it's Dr. Craig Bindi. We'll discuss the differences between LASIK and CLR, who's a good candidate, why you can never develop a cataract after having CLR, how long is the procedure, what is the cost, is there financing, and much, much more. We look forward to seeing you at the webinar. Please join us. All right, so don't miss a chance to find out how CLR could be your permanent solution to readers, contacts, glasses, and cataracts. Join the doctors at Laser Eye Center of Silicon Valley for their free live webinar Wednesday, May 22nd at noon. Space is limited, so register now at lasereyeclr.com. That's lasereyeclr.com. Well, come to the Bay Area, let's beat LA with the giant host, the Dodgers at Oracle Park. Shohei Otani, Mookie Betts, and the Dodgers take on Jung Lee, Matt Chapman, and the Giants. May 13th through the 15th. Get tickets to the best rivalry in baseball and the hottest ticket in the city. Buy now at sfgiants.com. Giants baseball, nothing like it. Named one of the best personal finance podcasts, The Stacking Benjamin Show with Joe and his friends makes financial literacy fun. I found that a rule of thumb is somewhere in the neighborhood of 1% of your house value. It's what you're going to write a check for every year just for the crap that goes on around your house. Some of it may be upgraded, some of it may be things that I need to fix. Something about your grill. When it melted, that was a who happened to my grill more than a what happened to my grill. Find out more by searching The Stacking Benjamin podcast wherever you listen. Attention, if you or your business is behind in filing your tax returns, or if you owe over $10,000 in back taxes to the IRS, please listen carefully. The IRS does not joke around and will not stop their collection efforts. If you're tired of the IRS letters, levies, liens, or wage garnishments and would like to get a fresh start, we can help. Due to the financial hardships in the country, the IRS is making it easier than ever to settle tax problems for those who owe more than $10,000. We can help settle your delinquent tax problems and all collections, and may even reduce your back taxes significantly. Even if you can't afford to pay your back taxes, you can still get the help you need. We help thousands of taxpayers just like you. But you must call 800-806-1299 today to stop your tax problem from getting worse. The information is free and the help is real. Call 800-806-1299 or visit americafirsttaxgroup.com slash live in. That's 800-806-1299 or americafirsttaxgroup.com slash live in. Again, 800-806-1299 
Defenders of the worst kinds of crimes. And people who come here illegally are not supposed to be here, including communists. We're in the 30s and 40s and males who are here obviously to steal information from us in many respects. You can't leave China without permission. Everybody knows it. It's time that we realize what's taking place. There's a lot of risk out there, and all of it is going to affect the economy, and it is. Look at the interest rates. Look at inflation. Look at your own pocketbook and wallets. It's crazy. And look at your retirement account. The time to protect yourself is before this crisis blows into a massive event. It's getting